Welcome, Anitha. Thank you so much for coming. I'm really looking forward to the panel tonight, but I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about SEVA. SEVA. SEVA, sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Seva Exchange Corporation is actually a spin-off of Time Banks USA, which has been around for 23 years and it was invented by Edgar Kahn uh, in 1980, the concept of time banking. Okay. So our corporation, it is a spin-off, it's for for profit and people always ask me, "Oh, are you a non-profit?" So what what it, we what we do is for in for every community that we have, uh, we allow volunteers, every hour they give, they get a time credit back, redeemable for an hour of time for themselves. So it's, it's a new spin on volunteering. We mm -hmm. like to say volunteerism reinvented. Yep. So this concept has been around for a long time, but now when the blockchain came along, we're like, hmm, let's try this out. We've already had an alternative economy with this. Instead of credits, maybe we could try something different. And that's how like Save a Coins came about. And you know, living in the Silicon Valley, I, I meet so many companies that are you know, crypto for good, blockchain for good type companies. And I ended up partnering with a critical company called Manabase that does universal basic income. And they are giving coins to anybody that needs it. Wow. So I was thinking, well, uh, this, this concept of uh, time banking is going to help so many societies' ills with uh, social isolation, depression, suicide rates will go down, violence. Imagine a world where, you know, generations, multi-generations, like an el elderly person could be, you know, uh, tutoring a teenager who otherwise might be, you know, into gang violence or something like that. But there's many, many miracles that have actually been, case studies have been done throughout the world, in Japan, um, in Chicago, in just everywhere. I'm very excited about it. So for me to be able to mainstream this movement, and I recently, um, got together with Andrew Yang. He is running for president in 2020. So midterms are over, he can focus on that. And in his book, The War on Normal People, he actually talks about time banking as one of the solutions, along with universal basic income, as a way to alleviate what will happen when AI takes our jobs away. That what is it gonna happen? And we will need time banking more than anything at that point, right. yeah. Fantastic. Well, you're definitely very passionate about your mission, which is great. Um, so I was wondering, um, we were having a conversation earlier about the fact that people seem to think that social impact um, business is not profitable, which to me is crazy. I don't know why anyone would be in a business that, that wouldn't be making a profit. Yeah. So uh, what's your thoughts on this? And obviously, you probably face this a lot. Uh, almost every day. Uh, Classy.org is an example. They're not a blockchain company, except they service nonprofits. And they've raised 70 million, and I mean, in investment capital. Wow. And just last week, I got an email from them. They've raised a billion dollars for all their nonprofits. Wow. So don't tell me that there's no money in nonprofits, right. because nonprofit is a business, no matter what. Yeah. You know, so they need services like any other business. So why not service that? Yeah. Level. Yeah. And where, where do you think the, we're going as far as the blockchain for social good yeah. um, through your eyes? For me, it's still in its infancy stage. I notice I go to these blockchain conferences. I feel like a lot of times people are just making stuff up, pretending because it's so exciting and they all want it. They don't want to miss out, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. Um, but we have to be careful. There are quite a bit of companies touting the social good. Um, there's like the climate change ones. They'll, they'll give you tokens uh, to uh, take out like the, you know, relieve carbon effects and things like that. I am skeptical of those kind of things. They could be scams. Uh, there are other ways of uh, alleviating that situation. I'm not sure if it's exactly, you know, crypto coins and yeah. blockchain, yeah. but um, blockchain has amazing, you know, things that it does do good. And for me, that would be like food safety, um, you know, f things that are temperature controlled from tracking like fishing industry from when they catch the fish and make sure until it's delivered to, you know, a store or whatever it is, those are things that are very important, yes. knowing where every ch changing of hands, especially like vaccinations. Yes. So there are many critical things that are doing good. It, it still could be commercial, but it's still good. So, Great. yeah. Fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to the panel tonight and thank you so much for coming along. Thank you.